In 2022, this channel gained over 100,000 subscribers. I started posting in 2020, but it was only this past year that my channel's growth really started to take off. And so in this video, I wanna share with you exactly how much YouTube paid me in 2022. And I'm not gonna tell you these numbers to brag or to flex, just to preface, okay? I am sharing these numbers because I really appreciate pay transparency and the starving artist myth is extremely real. I want you to realize just how possible it is to thrive financially as an artist on social media. And I am really well aware of how privileged and lucky I am to be in this situation and I wanna pay it forward to you. And a big thank you to Uscreen for sponsoring this video. So instead of just me telling you how much YouTube paid me for the entire year and just ending the video right there, I instead want to go through month by month my revenue and my numbers so that hopefully you can get a more holistic view of my channel's growth and where you might fit along that in your own journey on YouTube. And also just because my paycheck from AdSense fluctuated wildly from month to month, so it would be really weird and wild to me if I didn't put that into context. So let's go ahead and start with January of 2022. This was right after I got monetized. So last January, I earned $404.92 and I gained about 3000 subscribers. At the time, this doubled my channel size. It was really crazy. And I gained 84,000 views. So let's go ahead and look at February. In February, I also had a really good month at the time, at least. Um, I earned $516.45 and I received 77,000 views on my channel. And if we scroll down, we can actually see the top videos from this period. So in October, 2021, I made this how to find your art style video. This will be my first video on my channel to ever hit a million views. It has become hugely popular for my channel and that video kind of started to take and that video started to take off a little bit in January but it really takes off in April which we'll talk about later and in February you can see that I posted quite a lot of content I was really trying to experiment more with format during this time and eventually it pays off and I kind of learn a lot about what my audience really likes but we're still kind of small potatoes right now. So let's go ahead and continue into March. So in March, my channel received 72,000 views. I gained 1.7 thousand subscribers and I made $472. This is not quite as good as February. We're in a little bit of a dip. I also didn't post nearly as often this month. On March 29th, I posted my 100 heads challenge video, which did fairly well at the time and my top content in this period, if we scroll down, is not very different from how it was last month. April was really crazy. So in April, my channel received 280,000 views. So like what, like quintuple what I had received the month prior, which was insane. And I gained 7,000 subscribers, almost 8,000, and I made $1,442 from YouTube AdSense, just YouTube AdSense. And my top content in this period was that art style video. That art style video that I posted in October of 2021 really took off in April of 2022. And as you can see, it gained 143,000 views. So the vast majority, half of my views for all of April were from this one video. I posted like six times, which was kind of crazy. And a lot of these were business content, which tends to earn me more money and perform really well. Like I also posted this like over 30 ways you can make money as an artist video which has also performed really well for my channel. I also posted my 2022 art career strategy video, which was a great project. And those videos were really educational, very informative, very business and marketing focused. In May, we double our performance for April, basically. My channel received 592,000 views in May. We gained almost 22,000 subscribers, and I made $3,525. I think that's like all of the previous months combined and like maybe a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken. 
I don't know. I, I'm not going to do that math in my head right now, but May was like life changer month. May was the month that I realized like, oh shit, I could take this full time and have this be my job. And more so than ever before, I was taking YouTube incredibly seriously. In June, my channel received 605,000 views, 20,000 subscribers, almost 21,000, and I earned $3,770.96. So views were a little bit down in the first part of the month, but then I released five ways I make money as an artist, and my channel started to do very well. Again, that video received 183,000 views and all of my top content until like number five is really business and like education, like advice oriented, which is kind of the backbone for my channel now. And this brings our total for the first half of the year to a little over $10,000. And this is just YouTube AdSense, like a big reason why I was able to take my art and this YouTube channel full time is yes, because of YouTube, of course, but also because of the other income streams that I have. Income diversification, having multiple income streams is really so, so important for artists and creatives because as you can see, my YouTube paycheck fluctuated wildly over the course of the first half of this year. And that like at no point in the areas where I was living, would that have been enough to live on comfortably? And that's why having multiple income streams is so important. And where the sponsor of today's video comes in, you screen. If you are an artist or creative professional and looking to offer exclusive paid video content to your audience or launch an online course, Uscreen is the way to go. Uscreen has created one of the world's best platforms for monetizing video content. They've built this platform specifically for creators like you and me. You can build your own custom membership website with Uscreen from a variety of theme options and customize it to completely suit your brand. On Uscreen, you can display your content in a Netflix style catalog that is incredibly visually appealing. And aside from just paid video content, you can also offer courses and paid live stream events on Uscreen. And your audience gets maximum flexibility in terms of payment. You can offer monthly and annual membership options, lifetime access, free trials. People can purchase just one exclusive video if they want to. Like just about every single option you can think of is offered on Uscreen. And on top of that, Uscreen provides creators with robust built-in marketing tools to grow your community and retain them. You can build a fully customized landing page, sales page, email sequences for your newsletter, and so much more all on Uscreen. If you were at all interested in offering an online course or paid video content, Uscreen is absolutely worth looking into. They're passionate about building the best platform for creators to monetize their passions. With every plan, they offer a one-on-one -on -one onboarding session to get you started. And you can check out the link in the description to learn more. And thank you again to Uscreen for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the content. So in July, my channel received 789,000 views. We gained about 24,000 subscribers and my channel made like the most money it's ever made from AdSense, I think. $4,542.22. That's like, that's a big chunk of change. <laughs> that like freaked me out when I first saw it. I was really blown away. Um, and it was also really helpful because I had a ton of expenses that month. Like I was moving cross country, had to buy furniture and like new camera gear and like a desk and all of this stuff for my new apartment. So that was a huge help during that month. And my top content for this period was really kind of unchanged, except for the art books video that I posted in January of 2022. So the very first like month that we were talking about before, I posted this art books video. This art books video kind of sat dead for forever until James Gurney mentioned me in this video in his newsletter, and it kind of took off. It gained 100,000 views like just in that month, which was really wild. And that's a part of the reason why I make more art books content now, because that video was such a hit 
it really inspired me to make more of them. In August, we have a little bit of a dip, okay? So like my views were kind of down. I, I mean, still crazy. My channel received 606,000 views. Subscribers were also down a little bit. I didn't post like nearly at all, as you can see, I was very busy with the apartment. We gained about 16,000 subscribers and I earned $3,830.53, which was not as much as the previous month, but still really solid in terms of revenue. And this really goes to show how you can post kind of irregularly or infrequently, like not every day, not every week, and still succeed on YouTube. Like all of these videos, I made throughout the entire year, but it was business and like marketing content, like educational things that people were really interested in seeing and, and learning about. And so they were evergreen. So they continued to get views even months or years after I posted them. In September, views were again, a little bit down. This was my lowest revenue month in a long time. My channel received 417,000 views, a little under 10,000 gained subscribers, and we made $2,744. I also posted like quite a bit, but I was experimenting with formats that I hadn't really tried before that tended to not resonate with my audience. Like my Adam Duff interview, it didn't perform super well. Um, I posted like a studio tour that also didn't perform super well. And those videos kind of, their lack of success lowered the base view count because in all the months previous to this, I had at least like one really standout piece of content. And if we take a look at my top content for this period, only one of them, or I guess two of them were posted in September. I had my study, I had my study September video, and then I also had my teach yourself art five tips for self artists, for self taught artists video, which performed pretty well, but like we're nowhere near the view counts that we were a couple of months ago. Like we're not getting 100,000 views on any video in a single month during September. So videos, like their view counts were just down overall in this month. So in October, the channel received 539,000 views, so up from the month prior. We gained about 14,000 subscribers and I earned $3,304.76 from YouTube AdSense. In November, the channel received 485,000 views. We gained about 11,000 subscribers and I earned $3,692.70. I posted pretty often in the beginning of the month, but then some family stuff happened and I had to take about two weeks off of work, which affected the channel's views, as you can see down here. But like, we were still earning about a hundred-ish dollars a day from YouTube AdSense, even while I was away from work, which was really awesome. Like that was really amazing. And a lot of the videos that I posted in this month were top performers, like the art books video that I released a little while ago, and also my video talking about why YouTube is so important for artists and such a great platform. That video performed really well and so did the art books video and like coupled together, it kind of boosted the channel's views overall because I released videos that were a hit, like people liked them, <laughs> that's important. So in December, it's kind of a wild month. I posted my video on how much I made from digital products and that was an instant hit. I kind of expected that. I was kind of crossing my fingers and hoping for that because I knew that I had to take a couple of weeks this month off for the holidays. And you can see like, like the shift in my views in this graph from releasing this hit video and then taking some time off. So in December, the channel received 487,000 views. We gained about 12,000 subscribers and I made and I made $3,418.16. That digital products video was a massive success. It received 179,000 views just in December, made up like half of the channel's views for that month. I mean, it was such a breakout hit that it was truly amazing. And that brings my yearly total for 2022 to $31,666 for the entire year which is really crazy. And if I continue making about $3,500 a month, 
which is my current monthly average. In 2023, I expect to make about $42,000 just from YouTube AdSense. But it's also only one piece of the pie because I have a variety of other income streams. Like I talked about before, diversifying your income is extremely important. And my two other main income streams, my online shop and sponsorships, continue to draw in revenue for my small business. And in 2023, I'm hoping I'm planning to make about $150,000 total for my business. I want to more than double the revenue that I made this year overall for my business. And if you're interested in learning about how I'm planning to do that, that will be in a video right here that I plan to post next week. If it's not out yet, I guess you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and maybe even my brand new email newsletter, The Artist's Guide, which shares marketing and business advice for artists in your email inbox once a week, maybe? Yeah, what do you think?